Hiya guys, my name's Andy, and in this lesson I'm showing you how to play 10 songs with the exact same four chords, and this is ideal as an absolute beginner's first piano lesson. Some of the songs that I mention here will have other longer, more detailed tutorials, but here we're going to keep this video down to about 15 minutes and walk you through each one of these great songs. All of these are in the key of C, and the original record's in the key of C as well, so there's no change of key, no transposing, no nasty sharps or flats, and those four chords are C major with a standard C major triad in the right hand and the bass note in the left hand, G major, again standard triad, G, A and D, little finger on the bass note in the left hand, A minor, and all we have to do here is just move each one of those up one white key, so the next white key, that's an A minor, a sad chord, and the final one is an F. Now the first song that we have on our list here is Can't Stop the Feeling uh, by Justin Timberlake, brand new song, and the right hand, for the majority of the song, actually stays on the C chord. So we can't get it a lot easier than that, and it's just the left hand changing note that provides the change of chord because the bass note of the chord has changed. So for a, as an example, I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric wavy when I turn it on. Okay, so the left hand, left hand focus, we're at an octave below middle C, which is this one. Thumb, and if we line each finger up, a finger to an, a white key, we have the middle finger on the next note, which is the A, F, and back to A again, and each one of those lasts for four beats. Every time you hit them, play the C major triad, exactly the same, and then we'll be playing at the start of Can't Stop This Feeling, and the chorus as well, all the verses and the chorus. So that would be two, three, I got this feeling, two, three, inside my feet. A in the bass, F, back to A. Let's repeat that a few times. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Nothing I can see but you when you dance, 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 dance. Feel creeping up on you, so just dance, dance, dance. Okay, now there's only one little bit of that, which is the bridge, um, which does do some other chords. So if you want a further lesson on that, click in the link in the corner or in the description. We're going to move on now. The second song with only four chords, this just has all of these four chords in, is Let It Be by The Beatles. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. So a little bit more going on in this one, but we're going to keep the right hand to just the normal triads to keep it suitable for very, very much beginner uh, pianists. So left hand on the same bass keys as we did before, and we have the C major triad here, and then we go down to G in the same order that we learned them in, A minor, and then to F, and we want to hit both of those twice uh, playing twice, uh, playing on the beat basically. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, now the second time it goes through, one, two, three, four, we want to go straight to the F and then walk your little finger down. Here I'm doing an inversion of an F to get my little finger on the F note here so it can walk down play the melody that we all know from Let It Be. Let me talk you through that one more time. So C, standard C major chord. G, G, inversion of an F. F down to C. Okay? And the only different thing there that happens um, is for the chorus, it's the same chords uh, but just in a slightly different order. We start on the A minor, let it be, to a G, to an F, finish on, on the C, and then it's the same ending that we did before. C to a G, F down to C. Okay, 
So fairly straightforward. I'm sure I will do a longer full tutorial on that one, uh, which will be up on this brand new piano lessons channel very soon. But let's move on. Super simple one next. We got Ho Hey by the Lumineers. I've been trying to do it right. I've been living a lonely life. Okay, I belong with you. You belong with me. You're my sweetheart. That's the song we're going for. And here we want to do um, a C major chord, C in the bass, but we're gonna start off with a lower inversion of it. So we're gonna put our thumb on the G note so that the highest note is an E, kind of mimicking the guitar part. And some of you might have learned this on my Guitar Lessons channel already, because um, we're going to go to a C sus4, which we add the little finger for, and the sus4 means it's the fourth note of the C major scale. Again, lessons on all of this kind of theory side of things are coming on this channel so soon, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, we go to a C sus4, and then we add the uh, normal third in to uh, play the standard C chord, and that's the intro. C sus4 to a C. I've been trying to do it right, sus4 C, I've been living a lonely life. I've been sleeping here instead I've been sleeping in my bed A minor, standard A minor I've been sleeping in my bed Quickly to the G chord C sus4, back to C C, four That other part again, A minor I've been sleeping in my bed And then it's the same other chords, the A minor and the G which happened for the chorus as well I belong with you a minor, you belong with me. That's a G. Back to C, and you could go for a normal C if you wanted. Standard triad. You're my sweetheart. A minor, I belong with you. You belong with G. You're my sweet. And then the sus4. And to have a more authentic kind of pattern in that part, you want to hit bass note and then the chords. Two, three, four. Same on the G. And the same on the C. I belong with you. You belong with me. You're my sweetheart. I belong with you. You belong with me. You're my sweet. And then we're back to to the normal C chord. So that's Ho Hey by the Lumineers. Any of these songs that you want longer tutorials on, please let me know in the comments and send me your requests. I will film any piano lessons for you guys. But the next one is so similar to that. This is uh, Laid by James, a bit of a, a 90s uh, hit here uh, by the band James. It goes like this. This bed is on fire passion and love. The neighbors complain about the noises above. That is C in this same inversion as, as again, so that the E is the top one in the uh, in the notes that we play, in the highest note. C sus4 again, back to C, and then G. And the only other thing that happens there is going to the F, 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 G. G, 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 G. It's a bit of a build up there on the old, uh, old snare drum. So this would happen three times. Again. Third and final time. F. for the whole song. Very cool one. Uh, the fifth song on this list is another one that's quite a guitar-based one. I'm a guitar teacher primarily, after all. And uh, it's Save Tonight by Eagle-Eyed Cherry. Fight the break of dawn, come tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be gone. A minor, quicker changes in this one. A minor, standard way of playing it. F, C, all standard triads now. Back to the G. 
A minor, F, C, and G. But if you're doing it that standard way of playing the triads, which is technically easier from a knowledge point of view, it's physically easier to move your fingers less and play the inversions that are on the screen now. So A minor, F, just move your little finger from the F to the bass note, and then C. That's a second inversion there, lower, lower one than the middle C. And then a standard G, and I barely move my fingers at all. Save. Uh, this would happen, uh, just play each chord twice, and you're playing on the beat. One, two, three, four, one, two. Save tonight. Fight the break of dawn. Fairly straightforward there. Again, that happens all the way through for the whole song. No other chords in that one. Fantastic. That's what we like in these early days. Um, next one. This is a beautiful song. This is Falling Slowly uh, from the movie Once. Um, this, is, this is a wonderful little song. And essentially, it's a C to an F for the main, main part of it. So, I don't know. This one I will definitely be doing a tutorial for the little melody line. We're doing its own, that song needs its own video most definitely. It's great for harmonies, but you can see in the bass note, I was playing a C note, octave, uh, actually I'm the middle C, not an octave above. And then to the F just below that. So the chords are just do, 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 C to the F, sorry. Um, and then we have for the bridge for this song, A minor, G, and the F. Okay? And games they never amount. Back to a G and repeat that again. Will play themselves out. Okay? And then we have the same chords again, same four chords, slightly different order. C. Take this sinking boat. F. And A minor. We've still got time. Okay, back to the F. C. F. A minor. F. Let's play that together. Two, three, four. Take this sinking That's with the standard triads. Let's do them with the inversions now, doing it all a bit more closer together. Take this sinking boat and point it home. We've still got time. Nice thing to do there. This is the F inversion, and on that lyric of time, just move the F and the A up one note each. Time and you're matching what those lyrics are doing there. Full tutorial on that song coming really soon on this brand new Piano Lessons channel. Um, now we have a classical piece. Um, this is Ode to Joy by Beethoven. I think it's one of the most recognizable uh, melodies that has ever existed. Listen to this. Everyone watching this channel, it doesn't matter what age you are or what music you're into, you will recognize that. Again, this is another one that will get its own video. Um, what we're doing is walking through those chords that we've learned already. A my, um, C major, sorry. C major to G major. And then A minor. And then F and G. F to G. Same thing again, just a slightly different ending. C and then G major, A minor, there and then a G to C. Let's have that one more time from a C chord. Two, three, four. C to G major, A minor, F chord and then to G. 
from the top again, same. C major, G major, A minor, and G straight to C. Okie dokie. Full two tar on that one coming soon, most definitely. Um, finally, no, not finally, we've got three more to go. Yeah, this is No Woman, No Cry by uh, Bob Marley. A bit of a reggae number, but this transcends all genre, this one. No Woman, No Cry. All different genres. Um, the, the songs here are all in different genres, and yet we're all in the key of C, remember? So you can actually, once you've learned these little bits, Play along to the original record, which for most of these play 10 songs with however many chords. They change your key, so you can't do that. So definitely, you know, have a go at playing along to the record or joining in or singing along. That's where the most benefit will be out of uh, all, these, all, these, uh, all these easy songs. So C major, same order again. To G, A minor, straight to F. Okay? One more time, three, four, to G, A minor, to F, and then C, G, back to C, and G again at the end. One more demo, three, four, no one, no cry to F, no one, no cry, G major, C. Okie dokie. Really cool one, and as I say, the majority of that song is just saying in that old four chord song order, C, G, A minor, 2, and F, which uh, will be so familiar to some of you who've seen my lessons before. A really cool one now, um, one that I filmed on guitar, on my Guitar Lessons channel not too long ago. Uh, this is Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac. Bit more complexity there, however, if you looked at the left hand, you'll see I was on an A, which means the chord is just an A minor, and then it went to an F, which means the chord is F major. So we have A minor, da 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 F major, da 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 and if we just play on the beat nice and steady, That's every verse and the intro to three, four, one. So it's two bars. F for two bars as well. And then we're to a C major. What a life you never seem to F. So C major to the F is the chorus. Will you stay if she promised you have an F? Will you ever win? I'm back to normal. And we will, of course, have a lesson very soon on that little melody there. <clears throat> the very, excuse me, the very last song on the list um, primarily has just two chords. This is I Can't Always Get, or You Can't Always Get What You Want by the Rolling Stones. One of, one of my favorite songs ever. I think it's a lovely statement. Now you may say, Handy, you play playing other things there other than the standard triads. What are you doing? You keep adding more complexity. Yes, I'm sh hopefully, the idea, part of the idea of this lesson is to show you that we can take two chords, like a C major to an F, which is just a lower inversion of this F chord. There's a standard triad, same notes here. And by adding things called sus twos and sus fours, so I'm in the key of C, that means standard triad, sus two, Sus4, so we can copy exactly what's happening in the song. Which is just one, two, one, two, three. Okay? And then the left hand's just hitting that C note. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. 
or if you would like, you can always just simplify it and play uh, the C chord for a bar and the F chord for a bar. You can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. Okay? Now, this one's a little cheating. There's one extra chord than what I've showed you so far. Um, we actually have a D major, but if you try it sometimes, and then it's back to the F. So we've got one new chord uh, in this one, so a little cheating, but you know, you can't always get what you want, I guess. Well, hey, a bit of a pun there. So that was a D major and uh, to an F, okay? But if you try sometimes, remember the D major needs your middle finger on the black note. C major, D major there, okay? But if you try sometimes, F chord, you just might find. And then you're back to normal. You get what you need before F. You get what you need, oh yeah. And you can always add in that. I saw the day exceptional. Glass of wine in her hands. And that's how to play can't always get what you want and that's how to play 10 songs with just four ish chords on piano uh, please subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and check out the further tutorials and other song lessons on my channel including absolute beginners lesson and my website andypiano.co.uk will have more information about recommended products more song sheets and recommended song books that i'd recommend you guys get Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for your support. Please share this video if you liked it. I'm sure I'll see you again, guys. Bye for now.